Hey guys, it's Brooke here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a stress ball only using two ingredients. Oh, sorry. And so, yeah. Sorry about that. This spilt a little bit of one of the ingredients. Well, it only takes two ingredients, but it takes one like thing to. It's um. It doesn't matter what kind of plate it is. Well, actually, actually, it does. It can't be a paper plate because it will. The water will go through it, so be that. Okay, I'm back, and like I was saying, you cannot use the paper plate. You have to use a glass plate or a plastic plate. So I'm using a glass one, so I have to be really careful with it. And your two ingredients are some flour and some water. Now it doesn't take as much water as it does flour because you don't because you're making dough basically. So. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of flour. Okay, so after you have all your flour in, even the grumps of it, guys, you're going to take your hands, you can use a spoon if you want to, but only to start out with, and you're going to mix it in. Okay, so mine's sticky, which is not good. Okay, so sorry about the less talking, that's awkward silence. But I'm trying to focus and get all this dough off of my hand. And it looks like we need more flour. Because it's really sticky and that's what you don't want. So, hang on. Okay, so Mac and I got some more flour. Um, this is going to be my last cup of it because we're running out of some here at the house. And there's also an ingredient that I did, I forgot to mention. Um, you need a plastic bag. It can be clear or you can color it or something. And then if you want, you can use a balloon too. So. Gonna mm. 
see how it's coming along, guys. The reason why I didn't do this with a balloon was because um, it would be harder to get the flower in, and also it would um, it, I don't have any here at the house, so. And I'm really squishy. There it is. I'll be right back. just washed off my hands really fast and I dried them really good or else the dough would stick to you. Oops, I just spilled some water. So now I'm going to perfect this mission it and blending it in. Yeah, I just I added just like a couple drops of water in it. And when you add more water in it, you need to blend it in extra, extra good. Let's get it up so you guys can see it better and it also doesn't get in the floor. Sorry about my hair too, it's just morning hair for you. But it's put up in a ponytail. Because I knew this would be a sticky, sticky mess. And... I'm um, about to add more water in it. Sorry, this may be a boring video right now, but I'm trying to show you guys how to do it, and I'm not a good explainer. Okay, there's more water. Suck it up. In it, and then you'll collect more dough after you get the water. So, like, so once you pour in water, you have like dough sitting on your plate, so you need to collect more dough. Just one drop. Man, that might be a little too much. This little bit. I'm making a little because we're running out of water, so. Unless we have to. Actually, you might not be. Hang on. Okay, so I've had more flour in the fridge. So. Here's my dough ball so far, and the rest of this is flour on the plate. I'm gonna set the dough ball in here. I'm 
a little too much water, I think. Okay, so sticking to my fingers again. 